Okay, so we're on the draw. Looks like we've got a Sapphire, Black Lotus, Pluto Delta. I think this is probably a strong enough hand to keep. Um, we don't really have any of our haymakers, but we do have a um, potentially a turn one defense grid. So we're going to go ahead and keep. And we might just um, blue the Delta into um, Black Source, Thought Seize, clear the way for Black Lotus into Defense Grid, and then another Thought Seize. Gearper Orrery. So each player may play an additional land on the turns. Uh, begin of each player's upkeep, that player has no cards in hand, draws three cards. So that is an interesting card. All right, so the double thoughtsies plan uh, not looking so hot right now. And it looks like this defense grid might not be worth much. So maybe a change of plans. I think Necropentance looks pretty good. Black Lotus. Um, unfortunately, we're actually not going to be able to play that um, Necropentance this turn due to that Thorn, but um, hopefully that won't be a problem. They will be able to Wasteland the Underground Sea, and they're going to see two cards here, three cards. Wow, four cards. So actually, I didn't read this. Um, all the way through. That's actually pretty, uh, that's gonna be pretty bad for us, I think. Um, I think having that, all of, all of that down on turn one, it's gonna be pretty rough. So we're gonna have to have a pretty good Necropentance, and I think that this Thorn is still gonna be pretty hard to beat. Yeah, so I think we're just going to concede there. Um, that's going to lock us right out. So, <laughs> crazy start. We're going to go ahead and uh, concede there. So I like bringing in the other Hercules. Don't think we need defense grid. I made the mistake the last game I played with this, uh, so I just started playing this deck um, of leaving the defense grids in against shops, um, and they were not good draws. I think a Rep Decay seems pretty good. At least bring in one. Uh, let's see, so do we want more than one Abrupt Decay? Is uh, Abrupt Decay better than any of these other pieces? I don't think on the play. I think we'll try to be as kind of explosive as possible. So Natty Fresh. I agree that that game was ridiculous. Um, it's pretty cool to see, actually, though. That's um, that's a card I, I mean I had to read. I haven't seen that played yet, so definitely want to go first. 
All right, so this is a terrible hand unless we were able to find like. I mean, if we had a black source, the vampiric tutor for like a mox, Cataxian probe into it, like dark ritual. But I think we have to mulligan. So that is still not good. I think we'll keep though. I don't really know what we'd, um, what I'm kind of hoping for if I go down to five. I think I might want that on top just because of the uh... all right so it looks like we're on the blight steel plan so let's get li that library out there maybe spend two turns just kind of waiting around we'll see so it looks like they don't they're not off to the same start they were I'm gonna say is that all I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. I kind of want to get this Library of Alexandria alive. Not sure they meant to do that. Um, I've done that before. Sometimes when you play um, two lands and they're stacked on top of each other, it's pretty easy to um, mix which one came in first. So we'll go ahead and draw a card here. Play a land out and ponder. So I like these cards. I'm gonna put on top. So, do I want Yawgmoth's Will? I might not have done that right, because as soon as I Demonic Tutor, I'm going to shuffle those other cards away. So we, shuffle, so we put a land on bottom, or on top. So maybe I want to draw this Yawgmoth's Will before I go Demonic Tutor. Or, I guess actually I'm going to be able to Library of Alexandria both of those cards. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually draw both those cards next turn, so that's actually fine. So um, I think I'll leave the Demonic Tutor on top, Yawgwas Mill, not shuffle. And maybe just get this, uh, I think if they had a Thorn Effect, they would've played it last turn. So I'm gonna hold on to that Mox, just so I can library on my upkeep. I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should have played that Mox out. Because the library is going to be tapped all turn anyway. So Helm of Obedience. Um, could be a bummer if they get my Blight Steel. But hopefully we'll be able to do something before then. So it doesn't really matter that we did it that way, but um, it, it could have mattered if uh, they had played like a thorn effect, then it would have been a bummer to not be able to play that pearl. So unfortunately the Helm of Obedience is four, otherwise I might consider Abrupt Decaying that. Um, but we have two Cabal Rituals, got a Yawgmoth's Will, Demonic Tutor. So I think we Demonic Tutor for A tinker here. But we won't be able to cast it. Um, we could play Underground Sea, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual. That'll leave us with. So that's one, two, 
three. I think that I think that works. So And we'll leave the underground sea up for blue. Nope, actually that will not work. So I don't think I wanted to do that. So we'll have four. No, it, 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 that does work. So we'll go ahead and tinker. into blight steel so they're going to spend their mana on helm uh, which isn't going to get them anything except uh, the win <laughs> Oh man, until X, until a creature or X cards are put in the graveyard, whichever comes first. Target opponent puts cards from the top of the library into his or graveyard until a creature card or X cards are put into the graveyard. Ah, because Leyline of the Void. Can't believe I missed that. Um. Yeah, so I think that that's just a loss. All right. Well, that's kind of crazy. So I saw a bunch of new stuff in that matchup. Um, was kind of cool. So Helm of Obedience and Leyline. Um, that is an interaction I'm not going to forget anytime soon. All right.